Impermanent loss describes the temporary loss of funds occasionally experienced by liquidity providers because of volatility in a trading pair. This is not taking into consideration the 0.25% fees that the LPs capture, or the rewards from farming, which could mitigate those losses and could still make providing liquidity a highly profitable venture. Let us start by imagining you provide liquidity on Maya Exchange in the EGLDBUSD pool, and in order to simplify things, we will imagine you are the only one providing that liquidity, in other words, you own the whole EGLDBUSD pool. Say you provided a total of $10,000 in liquidity, half of it needs to be in e-gold, and the other half in Binance USD. To further simplify things, we will imagine the price of one e-gold being 100 BUSD. We can now determine that your pool has 50 e-gold and 5,000 BUSD in liquidity. Now, let's talk about what happens when on Binance, or any classical exchange, people are buying a lot of e-gold, and in doing so they bring the price to $120, so 120 BUSD per e-gold. The price does not also magically change on Maya exchange, where one e-gold is still 100 BUSD. This is where arbitrage comes in. Arbitrageurs are traders that use bots to quickly buy the cheaper e-gold from Maya Exchange, or other AMMs, and sell it for a profit on Binance for instance. So, they will come in and interact with your pool, the EGLDBUSD pool, and they will start buying e-gold at 100 BUSD, until they bring the price up to 120 BUSD. So here is what happens, the arbitrageur begins buying our cheaper e-gold from our pool, starting at 100 BUSD. The more he buys, the more BUSD he needs to pay per e-gold, as the formula is applied, and e-gold raises in price compared to BUSD. He keeps buying, until he drives the price of e-gold to 120 BUSD, just like it is on Binance. But, as the arbitrageur started buying at 100 BUSD, and then stopped buying at 120 BUSD, he therefore paid only around $110 per e-gold, on average. Since you own the whole EGLDBUSD pool, you can think of it as this, instead of holding some of your e-gold, you decided to sell some of it to a trader at $110, even though the real-time price of e-gold is $120. Until next time.